Hello and welcome back to more Graveyard Keeper. Today we are going to be picking up and working out that pagan amulet of spirit summoning. Now we do still have the beeswax, the piece of donkey hair, and an intestine is what we need. So I'm just going to be checking to make sure we've got one. We can do that easily by just popping through here and then scrolling through everything. We do have an intestine, so I think it's made at the church workbench. Yes, there we are. Okay, new task. That would be bring the pagan and the amulet to the final room on the eighth floor of the dungeon. Well, good news, because we've cleared the dungeon. That won't be a difficult piece at all. The eighth floor. Except there might be things we have to fight. We can just skip them though. No, it appears creatures do not respawn in the dungeon. Mm. I understand it from a clearing purpose. But I would kind of want there to be something that allows you to respawn them after you've cleared them. Here we go. Not that it bothers me, uninvited guest, but what made you bring this uh, here? Hello. Oh, you mean the amulet? Well, it's for attracting spirits and... Amulet? Not that it matters, but... All I see is a mix of, disgusting mix of wax, hair, and human flesh. If I was still alive, I might be laughing right now, but emotions are foreign to me. Hmm. Let's change the subject. I need a bit of help. Assisting anyone would contradict my philosophy of progressive ignoring. In short, I care for nothing and despite everything. I think, I think they mean despise. I could find your leg and bring it back if you help me. I don't believe you. I cannot imagine my absent but painful suffering. Oh, you. Like anyone with two legs. And in case you didn't hear me, I don't care. What a weirdo. But I know another one leg fellow who could help. Wait, the shepherd's only got one leg? <laughs> News to me. So we're going to be popping over. And I really want to be doing some touching up of the... Uh, the church, the graveyard. Because I think there's some beautiful opportunities to do more there. And we're just not taking advantage of it. So we're going to work on getting some sin shards. This is not a good body. Um, that is a very, very, very damaged body. Rightio, and then you can bugger off. You are coming with me, and we're going to be investigating your bits. Nothing too great. I also realized that we've recovered this body. It, it, the, the damage has been recovered, which is fantastic. It's exactly what I wanted from it. So we've actually got stuff we can do with this. So just having a look at this, we've got, oh, we've got a good heart. Got the bad brain, but we, he's, he's got a good heart. So we're going to take that. That was a very good heart. Uh, I'm going to take the fat just because we can turn that into oil and I don't need to worry about the wimp. And we're also going to take the... Not the skin, the flesh. Because that's just straight up. We can use that for good things. Right. So I'm going to take this body and burn it. There we go. 
and we will be playing build a body with uh, one of the bodies at some point, just to make sure, once we got all the good bits. See, I've got to get rid of some of these because I don't need this many hearts, especially the bad hearts. So that's a good heart. That one can go. That one's going. Uh, okay, apparently I've got nothing but bad hearts here. So, might put those in storage and have our little zombie friend do something with it. Or just get rid of them. I don't know what else can be done with them. Yeah, let's just destroy some of the hearts. We, we've got too many and we've got a ton of life solution, which is what we've been using them for. So that's not an issue there. So we're going to wait for the shepherd to come out and then we're going to speak to the shepherd, just in case anyone's wondering why I'm still dealing with this stuff. Uh, okay, so not the good heart, good heart, good heart, bad heart, bad heart, bad heart. Okay. Radio, and we've also got a bad brain. So we want to get rid of the bad brain as well. Right, what have we got here? Oh, we got a dark heart, so we can actually remove that dark heart. So they need a good heart in there now. Uh, they've got a really, really good brain. Uh, their intestines suck. And we can fit some more bits in. So I'm thinking we up a heart and then we just work on a few of the rest. They've got some really good bits that we honestly don't need to worry too much. Like, so the intestines can get a bump because the brain compares, competes with that. We can improve the flesh. So yeah, there's a lot we can do with this one. So I think I've already got some flesh on me and that flesh is a plus because I think all flesh is just pluses. So we can just add it here and then we can add it here again. There we go. We just got straight up good modified flesh um which, you know we don't say our zombies are organic uh, not our zombies our our corpses are organic here so i think it's okay i can't put in more flesh can i no but i can remove a flesh you know what they say take a flesh leave a flesh so we can put this one in boom instant seven so we can keep doing that for a bit and we'll play around with that body and have some fun. Uh, I am going to now head to the dead horse and we're going to be heading up to the shepherd. I don't know where the shepherd lives. That's the miller. That's the farmer. Is the shepherd up around here? I think so. What do they look like? Uh, one-legged, one-armed, one-eyed fellow seems a bit fierce. Okay, yeah, I think he's up north. Let's go have a look anyways. So that's the dairy lady. Here he is, yeah, there. I need some help. It's related to the vampire queen and you told you told me about and has Eva already drawn close? I see. Rose, Rose. Hmm? Oh, 
My sweet chimp monk, what has happened? Oli. Time for battle, my love. My final battle, perhaps. Prepare my equipment and pray for me. Wait, you seem to... Oh, good dream. Oh, dear. Does it mean you'll be late for dinner? Dio. It means I may fall in battle. Today's enemy is greater by far than any I've faced before. Oh, oh no, don't leave me. What will I do all alone? And what will the neighbors say? Dio. It is my holy duty, my love. Let's go, Keeper. Let's die like heroes. Uh, okay. Stay behind me. She could strike at any moment. <laughs> Listen, I'll explain it to you a third time. He's just a harmless ghost, and we just need to convince him to help. Oh, yeah. True evil often comes in harmless forms and loves to divert your attention. Oh, How many people are visiting me these days? I don't even desire video visitors at all. <laughs> okay. Shepard's a one legged guy. Can you trust this now? Depends on how he lost his leg. Well, I and several other brave guys from our order were hunting two spirits. Hunting spirit? <laughs> He's joking. Forget it. His leg, along with his hand and eye, were taken by an unknown lady. What do you. So he totally understands your absent but painful sufferings. Now help us. Tell me everything you know about the woman who took your leg. She was very proud and overbearing. Her voice was like thunder. She used archaic words. I haven't heard living people talk like that for hundreds of years. And she said I can always get my leg back from a place called Misty Quagmire. Please recover my leg from that place, I beg you. Though as I've said before, don't really care. I don't know where this misty quagmire is, but I've heard about it. Get out. About 25 years ago, a famous university scientist, Maki Teodoro Sr., found a book there. Could that be the father of Maki Teodoro Jr.? It was an evil book, full of dark magic. They called it the Necronomicon. Junior. The Marquis studied it in secret, and eventually, the book drove him and his wife crazy. Dio. I was in Execution Square that day the Inquisitors brought them to the fire. Oh, yeah. It roared like wild animals, tried to bite their captors, and shouted things about the ancient curse. <laughs> Jesus. Dio. Oh, yeah. My intuition tells me there's no vampire queen here. Therefore, she must be on another floor. Oh, no. Ah, uh, okay. Sad story, but contained a clue. The Marquis might know where this quagmire is. I could ask Clotho, she's been living in the swamps for many years. We are going to go ask the Marquis. Because the Marquis is a pretty cool guy. And we haven't been to the refugee camp in a bit. So let's see what we can build. Uh, nothing at the moment. Oh, they're making eggs? What's been sitting in here? Oh my gosh. Boiled eggs, cream of mushroom soup, honey pudding? Literally 12 honey puddings here. And here I am just consuming honey when they've been mating, making pudding. I'm taking the puddings. There's mushroom patties, cheese patties. Um... Tons of dough, a lot of eggs. Okay. Okay. Now, where is the Marquis? Are you the Marquis? Yes. Ask about the Misty Quagmire. Marquis, are you ready to talk to me about the Misty Quagmire? The Quagmire. Do you even know anything about that place, Graveyard Keeper? A little. It's the place where your father found the Necronomicon. He studied it, and the consequences were awful. Can't even imagine what you've been through. I went there once, and I swore I'd never return again. All hope dies in that place. The quagmire fills you with pain, horror, and despair. Even if you leave the quagmire forever, it will find you in your nightmares. Sounds sinister. Well, and if you could just show me the road, you can stay here. 
You have every right to be scared. Uh, no. uh, scared? Huh. I can't afford to be scared all week. I'm the leader of these people. Of course. How can you help them overcome their fears if you can't deal with your own? Indeed. After all, our family has always had courage and liver problems. Then it's decided. Follow me. To the Misty Quagmire. Ooh, oh, I like this. Yes, no, no, no. Shh. Do you hear that? We have disturbed this place. It's awakening. Ooba. I wouldn't say I'm afraid or anything, but try to make it quick. I'll do my best. This quagmire is a really creepy place. Let's hope it's worth it. Oh. The air got colder. The magic of the eye probably attracted the quagmire's attention. Damn. So it's only these things, so let's check this one. Six vampires stood here in a semicircle. It must have been some kind of ritual. The woman in black and gold cloak was here. She was carrying a book. It must be the Necronomicon that Marquis later found here. The Vampire Queen. She performed the ritual, but what was its purpose? There was a magical ice fire here. I see blue flames consuming a bone leg. It's apparently the leg of the spirit from the dungeon. It's still here, buried in the soil. Only riddles and no answers. I need more information. Hmm. I see something interesting. Right, we're going to dig up the leg. We got the bone leg. There was a woman hiding here. I can't quite make her out. A spy? The vampires attacked her. She's lying there motionless. Is she dead? The vampire queen approaches. She sees the woman. She drops the Necronomicon. Okay. Six spots of burned grass. The vampires. The queen burned them alive. I don't understand. It's meaningless. It's madness. The charred shoe of a vampire. Perhaps a memory tincture would make sense of this? Let's do that somewhere else. My teeth are chattering from the cold here. Alright, I think we've done everything. There is another skull there, but I don't think it's anything that'll add to it. So, I think we're done. We can now go. I'm ready to go back, Mikey. There is no return, human. Face this and accept your destiny. Marky, what, what are you talking about? I have been waiting for so long. Retribution, mankind's greatest obsession and the greatest weapon against it. I don't know who you are, but leave his body. We didn't do anything bad to you. I was pure and innocent until the humans came. You killed each other again and again bathing me in your blood, filling me with your vices, your intolerance, your hatred. But I struggled. I resisted, resisted, until when the woman came to me and her dark rituals mutilated and defiled me. And now I will share my pain with you. Wait, I have an offer for you, Quagmire. A very handsome offer. What's the use of punishing us two? If you could punish hundreds, or thousands. Just solve a simple riddle and I'll bring them to you. Otherwise, you'll let us go free. I will listen to your simple riddle, human. Great, here you go. What's the principle of the Large Hadron Collider? Three, two, 
won. You lost. Uh, wait, what, what happened? I'm so weak. My body, it's like I'm full of lead. We're out of here, Marky. Now. <laughs> I can still hear her in my head. She's whispering that I don't deserve to live. I'm a bad person. A bad commander. I'm useless and helpless. My parents died because of me. You just need a little rest. A little sleep and you'll feel... Oh, crap. Just when I thought the worst was behind us. Mikey, run. And leave you alone against them? That's... You're in no condition to help. Run, I said. Bet the vampire queen sent them. She's afraid. And that means I'm getting close at last. I have to hurry. That wasn't the only ambush she laid. I need to make some memory tincture as much as possible and check out the shoe from Quagmire. All right. But with that on the way, we're going to be going to Clotho, buying some memory powder, and then wrapping things up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Again, big thank you to my Twitch and Patreon community for supporting me. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.